the next round I'll pick my home just want to ensure that the sound of any of Today's uh, second Feb 2020 was on a holiday spree because I wanted to finish producing or perhaps continue producing uh, the videos that primarily talks about feng shui two to three months ago uh, you attended the course real feng shui by uh, taught by Joe Bui the experience was kind of uh, good because I learned to how learn to apply the things that I learned in feng shui into selecting a home next round when I start to pick a home right in fact uh, the land forms around the whole housing development will come into play. Feng Shui has many different schools of thoughts, right? Uh, my style of doing Feng Shui is that I always want to look back at the concepts that I am confident the most and also the clearest of how to use it. Two particular uh, points. One is base low shoe, two is uh, indirect and direct spirit. Based on the uh, indirect and direct spirit, uh, there will be two separate columns. So I call the left side the indirect spirit and the right, right side or the right column the direct spirit. So period one, period two, period three, period four are in the indirect spirit. Period six, seven, eight, and nine are currently in the direct spirit since uh, right now it's 2nd Feb 2020 we are in period 8 so if, when we are in period 8 right we need to see mountains and no water in the direct spirit sectors whereas we can see uh, water at the indirect spirits so this development right if you look here, it's kind of near to the Marichi Reservoir in north, south, west, east, right? So here is southeast. Southeast is uh, three, yeah, no, four, right? Thus, the Marichi Reservoir down there uh, satisfies the north, south, West East satisfies the indirect and direct spirit rule. In the base notion principle, the north is water, the south is fire, and we want to avoid the water fire clash, meaning that in the south, we do our best to avoid water bodies. The next round, I pick my home, just want to ensure that the south of any of the south from where I'm standing, uh, I'll do my best not to have any water water bodies because uh, it, it violates the fire water or it's so called there's a fire water clash so those were the two lessons that I just want to document down today on 2nd Feb 2020 just to remind myself that fun because feng shui is a kind of like a multi-layered cake you're eating a multi-layered cake so as each level that you layer the information right A uh, it can get kind of like complex I always go back to the basic principles the basic principles like uh, base law shoe direct and indirect spirit making sure that any home that I just want to select or the housing development uh, must fulfill these two even before you go to any other feng shui schools like uh, it mentions and if you find that you want to have some quick inputs on feng shui for your home go to the description below there is a link to reach out to me via the chatbot uh, kindly use the hashtag call hashtag feng shui so at least the chatbot knows how to respond to you thanks for watching i really appreciate your time if you find that this video can help someone kindly share with your friend